So we've parked over the far side of the car park. It's five pounds a day to park there all day, but no overnight parking. behind me and we're just walking towards the beach on Wardenswick on a very windy, at least the sun's breaking out, a little bit of sun, but this wind is making it quite cold. So in the summer, this little creek is used for crabbing. There's a famous spot, and I think actually the crabbing championships are held here at Wobbleswick in the summer. Uh, so hopefully it'll be held this year. I don't think it was held last year. And it's absolutely packed with uh, buckets and crabbing lines to see what you can catch. sand is being pushed into your face today, it's uh, pushing the sand towards the dunes. Wobbleswick Harbour. So in the summer months there's a ferry that goes across cost you two pounds but if you want to walk you can carry on walking along this side and it takes you over to a Bailey Bridge which takes you over to the Harbour Inn and then if you walk back over onto this side over here is Mrs T's brilliant fish and chip shop there's another Salt Bay fishery good food and lots of places you can buy fish. Good old fisherman hut. So most of the boats are over on the south one side, but there's a few little ones over on this side. takes you on the river trips up the river Blythe. In the winter you can hear the haunting noise of the wind on the rigging, that haunting whistling sound.
I've been looking around the shops. I've just popped into the deli to buy something tasty for lunch. for a cuppa. We have decided tonight to try out a Brit stop. Each location is given a code number. There's no obligation to use the facilities, but tonight we're going to have a meal. So which one is your beer? Victorian. Another Victorian. So you've got the burger. And I've got fish and chips. wind and the sea spray doesn't put off the fishermen. Thank you. 
best to keep away from the side because these cliffs do crumble this time of the year. I head to the monastery on the cliffs. Years ago, there used to be a church that stood on the cliff. So this is the last grave, all that's left of the church that's fell into the sea. There's a local myth that on a windy night, you can still hear the bell from the church ringing in the sea. Episodes. Give us a like. How about leaving us a comment? See you next time. <laughs>